We are back. I'm with my good friends Shlomo Bo and DJ Famous Seamus. Guys, I have a question. Lay it on me. Favorite athlete besides, of course, yours truly. <laughs> one of the best. One of the best Quincy High defensive linemen the world has ever seen. I know you guys look up to me, but I'm talking about professional athletes. I was sadly never a pro athlete due to my bum knee. But if I would have made it, I know it would have been y'all favorites. But who is your guys' favorite professional athlete? Wow. Fantastic question. Well, here's the thing. We live in Boston, right? So we have no shortage of athletes to choose from. But does it, your favorite athlete doesn't have to be from yeah, Boston. Be. But here's the thing. Growing up, you see these guys win championship after championship after champions. championship, man. And so obviously that's that plays a huge factor into it, man. If we're doing just all-time favorite, I'm going to have to go with... Shlomo, you're a hockey my fan. Gut, I, know, I know my gut... I, the thing is... My gut is telling me Bergeron. Bergeron? My gut is Whack. telling me Bergeron. Just because of like... All right, we're talking athlete, pure athletics, right? This man, his, his longevity on the game, he's so consistent, bro. He's consistently great. He rarely is injured. Uh, his workout regimen, everything that he does, what he brings to the table, he always elevates the game. Everybody that he plays around, he just makes so much better. So now you see you just selected Patrice Bergeron, right? Patrice, From the Boston, Boston correct. Bruins. And you, I seen you right now, you're kind of like in your head really thinking really hard. W- was it which Bruin? Like you couldn't figure out which between which, which that, Bruin? That definitely or, had a factor. Or is there it. someone? Yeah. Was, was it all Bruins? So yeah, if I'm thinking Bruins, I, w- I would definitely say Bergeron. Just I'm thinking pure athletics, right? Yeah. He's just so skilled. Um, but then you know that's that's just like you said, hockey, right? If we're talking Celtic of all time, Paul Pierce. Yeah. You know the truth. The that's absolute my best truth. Boston athlete of all time by far is Paul Pierce. Is it? No questions asked. He's a fucking legend. He got don't stabbed get, in the Boston. The, don't get the question. It's not Boston, but I mean, is, is Paul Pierce truly your favorite athlete of all time? Roberto games? Clemente is my favorite athlete of all time. First Puerto Rican baseball player to be in the MLB. Fucking humanitarian, literal fucking legend. Dealt with a lot of fucking racism when he first came into the league and shit like that. You know I seen a saying? statue in Puerto Rico uh, last January. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. literally a fucking legend. And sadly, passed away um, in a plane crash after fucking trying to you know do some humanitarian efforts in Nicaragua. But fucking legend, dude. He's literally like a fucking Puerto Rican icon. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's your all time, and then your all Boston time. Is Boston Paul is uh, Paul Pierce, though. You don't think Paul Pierce loses uh, no pun intended some brownie points for his. Uh, the the uh, the truth being let out that it, w- it wasn't a, a cramp or a strain it was actually him pooping himself in that finals game he got stabbed he can do whatever the fuck he wants <laughs> he That's got my stabbed answer. he got stabbed yeah, in a nightclub in Boston times, like many times mad times well you know who else actually you no know, he wasn't stabbed this man my favorite athlete of all time was shot recently really and it was oh. David Ortiz <laughs> Big yeah, Poppy. he's a legend um man the thing is baseball is probably like my third favorite sport. And um, and I think probably uh, what leads me to say David Ortiz because really my favorite team, the Dallas Cowboys, have really sucked the last uh, 20 years of my existence. So I don't really have. A, I love Tony Romo, but you know he's more of a better commentator than he was a quarterback. So <laughs> who do I yeah. have to look up to is uh, David Ortiz, Big Poppy. This is our fucking city. He's just done so much for Boston and. and uh, DR and just the, the whole world and for the, for the sport of baseball too mm-hmm. I think probably the, the most clutchest um, batter in postseason history mm-hmm. um, a huge part in reversing the curse all over just such, just such a remarkable funny loving man and of course like the best thing about baseball is home runs and this guy was just oh, like he's a the fucking dingers yeah absolute I'm at David Ortiz mad times too he's a good ass dude I follow him on Instagram. He's uh, he's training his son, bro. Big Poppy yeah. Jr. I mean, shit. Oh, baseball players always have uh, their sons just be absolute monsters. You think about the current day, uh, Vla- Vladimir Guerrero's son. Oh, his son's son. a savage, bro. It's just, it's just insane how uh, baseball genetics work, but yeah. If I'm going baseball players, though, I'm going Manny Ramirez over David Ortiz all day, every, t- every single day. Dude, Manny Ramirez what? was my fucking boy. I met Manny Ramirez several times, my favorite baseball player growing all up. Alright, so if you've met him an f- extra few times, like, I might I met the both of them a couple of times. They're both good shit, you know what I'm saying? But Manny Ramirez, that was always my but favorite dog, baseball player. Poppy's done way more f- for the Red Sox. And when Manny. it comes he to swag, He was the MVP though. in 2004, but David Ortiz was not. I mean, fine. Manny Ramirez fine, was. Fine, but 
Manny, uh, we, we we are still pay, paying Manny Ramirez two million a year. Yeah, he's been what? off the team. He's played for the Dodgers. Really? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, he fucking finesse, bro. What the fuck? Why he's making money? No. I don't give a fuck wow. about that. No, see, but Manny wasn't a part of the 2013 World Series or the 2017 World Series, so I really have no bro. He's still no comparison. 07? Was he in so 07? There's no comparison. Manny was still in 07. Yeah. Manny Here's the still. thing, Manny Ramirez. When it comes to swag points, bro, he's, he's just still such playing a swag baseball, out, dude. He joined the Australian Baseball League. That's lit. Literally the Sydney Blue Sox. That's what he played. Or he recently was playing for. I don't know if he recently got let go or not. But don't get me wrong. I love Manny. Oh, Ramirez. he was on January. T- literally eleven days ago, he was released by the Sydney Blue Sox. Oh wow. But don't he was, he's still playing. Don't get me wrong. I I love Manny and Manny being Manny. And I'm I curse those uh, recently went viral. Those uh, supposed Red Sox fans that couldn't even recognize Manny or Manny, right. even though Manny what was like, shame. Manny was like, you know, do you know who I am? And they're like, no, I'm like, okay, I, you're a real Red Sox fan. But Damn. yeah, um, David Ortiz, man, that's my favorite athlete of all time. I think uh, if I had to go basketball, Scal. No, nah, it's <laughs> it's crazy because I love winning. I love excellence, and like, I, I growing up and. Being a 90s kid, even though I didn't really watch him play too much Michael Jordan, you kind of find out, like, Michael Jordan, man, wasn't the most perfect uh, role model growing up. And he, he would probably be the first to tell you that. I think, what was it? Um, the Last Dance? You you kind of shed some light on uh, Jordan and his shoe industry and how kind of... Yeah, yeah. Stuff on Marbury kind of put me onto that where it's like they get the shoes from the same factory, right? And uh, Stefan's like, yo, I'm charging 25 bucks. This dude's doing like 190. But it's also like brand value. Like as a business person, I understand that aspect. You know, it's funny. I I think we should talk about the elephant in the room, Mr. Tom Brady. How can we not? How can we not? I know James is not a big fan, but it's like when it comes to just excellence, bro, Tom Brady is is up there man he's up there i guess he's, but he's still not going my he's like 50 years old he's, he's out not there. my favorite bro i'm no. going to fucking paul pierce man ramirez and david ortiz are above tom brady on my list i look at it like this man just in terms of joy that has been brought to my life from an athlete i think brady is probably numero uno well and if i'm combining both joy and representation i'm going for the three that i just mentioned they oh. represent a largely overlooked population i got a um i got an honorable mention my boy who just retired shout out to adam mcquade of the bruins fucking legends absolute legend had hair like an 80s pop band and a right fist like tyson in his prime yeah he would beat the shit out of people that shit was awesome and man he catapulted us to win the stanley cup i will forever love adam mcquade have a signed jersey by adam mcquade and randomly, Renee Rancourt, the singer, signed the back of the jersey. Oh, it's mint. Yeah, I was at the I was at the autograph show, and it was them. Very random pairing, those two. But Renee is like, "You want me to sign it too?" And I was like, "Yeah, hell why yeah. not?" Right on the shoulder. I had Alex Cora uh, when he was on the Red Sox sign a baseball for me that had Manny Ramirez's face on it. Wow. <laughs> There's no point to have him sign it, but I had him sign it just cause. collector's item. Exactly. And then I lost the baseball, but shout out to Alex Cora for that. Damn. Also, shout out to. Michael Phelps, who Ooh, yeah, the OG legendary. Stoner too. Legendary. He, he did. He's one he of my faves. History, and he is still known to be a pothead. And he, you know what? He stands for. He represents us that smoke weed, and people doubt us, but we get shit. We done. can get shit done. We can swim. <laughs> and faster he's than also anyone else can swim. Overcome <laughs> depression, substance abuse, and suicidal thoughts. Who Michael? Really? Michael Phelps has oh, wow. dealt with Shout a cycle of depression. Even as a fucking legendary, you know, athlete. Wow. Still does things. I know he still struggles with um, alcohol, things like that, of that nature. But I believe in the years past, he's been doing that's awesome. Doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? Coming over his addiction and everything. So Michael Phelps Shout came out to in. Him. He's in he recovery. came in, won more gold medals than anyone had ever anyone. won ever. ever. Yeah. And then did and a couple commercials did. for Subway and then disappeared. Got his bag that's and fucking... So. He got stoned and forgot to swim. Yeah. <laughs> He's young. He was, I remember when like he was swimming, he was still pretty young, but shout out to Michael Phelps. Yeah, that's a very slept on dude. Yeah, he was a legend, bro. All those are Olympic athletes, man. Usain Bolt. Man. Usain Bolt's a fucking what a legend. Beast. What a beast. Yo, when we think about <laughs> fucking legend. the Olympics is a whole nother story, Yeah, right? those are actual, like if we're going like athletes, like man... I feel like LeBron James is more athletic than most Olympians, though. That's just uh, that's just me, though. We are so blessed. To oh, live actually, in the USA. fuck this. 
greatest athlete of LeBron, all time, LeBron James. LeBron James. Absolute fact. If you if you are listening right now and you're a Michael Jordan fan and you think Michael Jordan's better than LeBron, well then you're wrong. You're fucking wrong. Who the people you. listening? I'm not wrong. Dude, I'm not wrong. If you're bringing, if you're LeBron bringing, if James you're, is a better basketball player. Than no, he no, is. he's he a better is, person. He or whatever he's done more for the community. He's, whatever. No, he's, no, not even six about the rings, Seamus. It's not about six that. Six motherfucking rings. It, yeah, exactly, bro. When the competition was a bunch of fucking posers. <laughs> shit, David bags. Robinson. Dennis Rodman, you know what LeBron James would have done. You know what LeBron James would have done. They would take out Jordan's legs, bro. That's when they didn't like each other. That's when ball was ball. You know what Everyone's playing AAU ball. You know what LeBron? No, no, LeBron James would have done to those motherfuckers. He would have fucking torn them to shreds until he got until he got to the finals, and he would lose to Jordan, just like LeBron does most finals because he's three and six in finals because he's a freaking loser when it comes down to it. He doesn't have that killer instinct like Jordan does. No. It's all about LBJ on this side. He's the second best basketball player of all time. He's I'll the give greatest, you that. the greatest he's done athlete a lot. alive right now. And he's done. LeBron he's done a lot. I'll give you this. He's done a lot more for Michael Jordan for like, civil rights and for, for for helping black people. Because Michael Jordan, he didn't want to get political, and that's a, that's his business, or whatever. But, but LeBron James has done so much. He opened for up his, his school. He has his yeah. fucking school. I respect him so on that front. LeBron but James. don't tell me you don't tell me he's better than Michael. I will oh, tell you. Ball. I'll you don't tell you. the game of ball, man. You don't know the game of ball, Sloan, like I know the game of ball. You know balls like that? I know the game of ball. Exactly. Basketball. Anywho, I will say, I'll uh, I'll be sort of the uh, tipping scale. <laughs> oh, it's going to be bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're just gonna, you're just, if you don't say I, LeBron, uh, then you're wrong. I respect LeBron in the sense of he earned my respect the year when he went up against, uh, when he won the chip with Cleveland. Like, at first, I'm like, yo, he went down to Miami, teamed up with Bosh and D-Wade. I didn't like how he did it. Well, but, Celtics did that. But here's the thing: no, 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 I'm not, I'm not knocking. I didn't like different. it as a fan. But the one thing I really respected: he went back to Cleveland, put the absolute whole city and team on his back, and won that shit. So I have a lot of respect. Now you can't knock Michael Jordan, bro. I'm telling you. Like I watched the, I watched the whole documentary. And I did too. I watched there, it. All. There's a lot of pressure, right? There's, there's two different sides of the coin, right? Jordan, right, became an absolute icon, like super duper star status. Think about the pressure, like when you travel anywhere, like you watch the videos of like swarms on some Justin Bieber type shit, like swarms of people just like wanting to get his attention. Like there was immense pressure, right? But you also look at it like this. On one hand, you had LeBron James who came out of high school into the league. Even when he was in high school, they're like, yo, this dude, he had, they had a lot of pressure on him. This dude is the next best thing. And was immediately expected to bring Cleveland where it needed to be with no one. Like so, I you know they fa- they fa- they both faced so much in their careers. But if I'm giving it to one person, man, gotta give it to Jordan. Like James oh, said, can't. six I rings, man. Do that that don't I can't do it. You happen. put Michael Jordan's brain inside LeBron's body, then you have the absolute pinnacle of the greatest. Well, you know, if, if we're going like, total stats of all time, there's only one stat line that Jordan leads, and that's steals. That is it. So what do you mean? Total night. points, total rebounds, total assists, total blocks, even I, I total I'm, games played. Because you know why, LeBron Michael? James. You know why, Seamus? Because LeBron, uh, Michael Jordan went to college ball and played some college ball. Won a championship in college ball. It doesn't LeBron matter. Skipped and, and went straight to the uh, NBA at, at 18 years old. He which, didn't have to fucking go through the fucking bullshit. You know what I'm saying? He's like, fucking. <laughs> I'm just gonna get to the check. I'm not gonna get exploited by these fucking colleges. And Smart good for man. him. But good for him. But that's Smart why he man. has more points than Jordan because he played more games. Well, yeah, he's played more games. Jordan also was done. like, you know what? I'm about, to go, I'm about to go play some baseball. I'm, I'm been beaten. Every, there's no competition. I'm out. LeBron he, got, LeBron got four of, rings It was because his dad passed away. He got four rings and ten tries. And let me tell you something. One's a Disney. Disney Corporation bubble coronavirus ring. One's because of Kyrie oh, Irving. Boo. The other is because of Ray Allen. And then, you know what? That He, he beat the Warriors. That's, that's, that's amazing. Saying, that Cleveland win, I'll give him amazing. that. Amazing. Amazing. But four of his, four, three of his Wrong. four rings are, are uh, sham. Hell no. Michael Jordan, 6-0. and oh, Did that shit. Bada bing, bada boom. I mean, shit, if you're playing this against fucking... Michael Jordan for LeBron. <laughs> if you're, if you're, if you're <laughs> going up against high school janitors back in the day, I guess oh, you'd, I fucking, you'd, be unde- take, you'd be undefeated in the fucking finals, too. Yeah. Bunch of fucking Charles golfers. Because Charles Barkley's a high Bunch school janitor. Bunch of golfers. 
Well, you got dudes like fucking Kevin Durant. You got fucking James Harden now. You got Kyrie. You like got dudes like Peyton Pritchard in the league too. He, he, he looks like one of those one of those janitors. You got no, Tyler he's Hero. nasty. Peyton I understand. Pritchard, if he was placed back in the day, he'd be fucking MVP. Scrappy dude. <laughs> he's a scrappy dude. We'd be having this discussion right now. Is Peyton Pritchard better than LeBron? Uh, people get fired. I, I mean, that's why I'm LeBron fired up right James. now. Yeah, LeBron people, James. Real basketball heads get fired up for that combo. And it, I give it to LeBron. It's it's a it's a conversation worth having a bit more now. And I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. I think. It's all there about perception. I don't different think there positions, is. right? If there was a right or wrong answer, mine would be the right one and yours would be the wrong one. But I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. You know, it's all depends on perception and what you truly believe is the best. I feel like at the end of the day, the real question becomes, what is it to you that makes someone the What's greatest? What's it to you? <laughs> what are your qualifications for the greatest of anything of all time? You know? Yeah, fucking... if we're talking specific athletes, I think my criteria is longevity. You know, in any sport, whether it's boxing, football, hockey, basketball, right? You have to have good mental fortitude. And also, like, you can't go above and beyond trying to be a hero because sometimes, you know what I'm saying, you'll you'll end up blowing your knee out or something. But, yeah, it has mental fortitude and also just your ability to rebound, too. Not literally, like, on, in the paint, but, like, you go through injuries and it's, like, being smart enough to know when to rehab. I think that... Yeah. An athlete, they know their body, but also like think about, like I said, the pressure where it's like, yo, your team is losing. They need you to come back right away. You look at what happened to KD. Yeah. Came back for like one game, blew his knee out. Yeah. Fucking KD. They got blown out by the fucking Cavs last night too. Those dumb motherfuckers. Yeah. Wow. yeah. That's, wh- I, that's why I picked Big Poppy too, to bring it all back. Like, you know, clutch factor, what he, what he meant for the city, what he did for the city, mm-hmm. longevity as you spoke about. Big Poppy, David Ortiz. Really I like that. that Paul Pierce, good. the truth. Yeah, I like that too, man. Inglewood's finest. You know what Paul I'm Pierce stayed with us from when we sucked. We were the worst team ever. Exactly. No, I, I fuck with Paul Pierce heavy, man. Yeah. He's, the, he's a legend. He was my fa- first athlete that I ever like really fucked with. If you guys out there listening have a favorite athlete of all time, could be from any sport, and there's a few sports we didn't even touch on. Professional wrestling is one that we all could dive down a wormhole. Yeah. But, uh, Soccer too, we didn't even mention that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Not bad. I don't. Even, I only know a handful of soccer stars. My fa- Fernando Torres. That's my favorite of all time. Oh, Pretty- we well, we have a lot of uh, international listeners on the uh, yeah on the airwaves, and I guarantee they all definitely enjoy soccer because I know the entire this thing soccer exactly. is the most popular sport in the, in the world. So. I'd say for me, I mean Pele is one I, that I know of, and I'd say my favorite though is Clint Dempsey. I like Suarez. He bit some dude's ear off. I think that's he ridiculous. Did. <laughs> Well, you like him because he bit his ear off. The only reason why I like Dempsey is because I've been told I look like him. You do. He also played for the New England Revolution. Shout out to the New England Revolution. I'll have to get some of the players on the show. That'd be fire. We'll go to the games. But yeah, if you guys out there listening, let us know who your favorite athlete, soccer, basketball, football, whatever. Whatever it is, let us know. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Peace.